Mike, what's up? All right. Everybody, how are you all doing, boy? All right, before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Somebody commented in my last video, like, why do you ask us to give you a thumbs up before the video even starts? We don't know if we're going to like it. Bro, I hit you with the flames every video, bro. Just trust me. Thumbs up, and you'll thank me later. Speaking of thanking me later... I am having my giveaway. I'll talk about it at the end of the video. But let's get to the news. First, a new patent has been revealed talking about the PlayStation 5's user interface. Now, we did get a glimpse of the user interface uh, during the PlayStation 5 reveal event. That reveal event was perfect, bro. It was a dope, dope, dope event. But, check out this new patent. Um, Sony, according to this patent, it's saying Sony wants to seamlessly integrate games, music, and videos with one menu controlling every aspect of the system. That sounds interesting, bro. In other words... It seems like they're trying to simplify somehow the user interface. Now, a lot of dudes have had an issue with the um, PlayStation crossbar. I've never had an issue with it. Actually, I liked it. <coughs> One of my um, pet peeves with Xbox's user interface is it's always been too messy too convoluted you go to one screen there's a whole bunch of stuff on one screen you go to another screen and there's no real rhyme or reason to it but sim the simpler the better bro case in point the Nintendo Switch the Nintendo Switch's user interface is probably one of um, the best user interfaces out there because it's simple now it's probably too simple. They ain't even giving us themes <laughs> or nothing else. But I like where you just you start it up, bam, you click on the game, you go to a game. And so there's a new patent uh, for uh, the PlayStation user interface. This is coming from Tom'sGuy.com, and there's going to be a seamless integration of games, music, and your videos with one menu controlling every aspect of the system so time will t time's going to tell to see how they actually implement this but that's one of the things they just teased us they teased us with the ui but didn't really go into um full detail but can't wait can't wait to see what sony reveals with the user interface and i'm sure leading up to the launch of the playstation 5 We'll get more information. Of course, we got to get the price, yada, 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 and so forth. But the next news item, pretty dope stuff. First, Xbox, the Series S. More tech specs has been leaked. And I have to say this, the more I hear about this system, the more I have to scratch my head. This is why. According to a report from The Verge, um, the Xbox Series X um, dev kit codenamed Dante comes with a special lock or heart profile. The profile provides a good indication of the console specs. Check out the codename Lockheart specs. 7.5 gigabytes of usable RAM slightly underclocked CPU speed and around four teraflops of GPU performance and with these specs they're um, saying that the console will target 1080p and 1440p gaming unlike the Series X which will target 4k now I said in my last video I didn't get how 
um, Sony's revealing, I'm um, going to announce a next gen console, one of their next gen consoles that's actually less powerful than my Xbox One X. And dudes are like, oh, Obi Wan, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's going to have more. I know it's going to have the SSD, faster load screens. A more modern architecture I get all of that bro but check this out bro this thing is gonna have 7.5 gigabytes of RAM my Xbox one X has bro Microsoft changed the names of your consoles bro so confusing but my Xbox one X has 12 gigabytes of RAM and so even though it's um, going to be more modern tech, things like RAM don't change, bro. I, um, um, the amount of memory and things you could um, put on the screen at one time, uh, the the RAM is pretty much the playground. I'm not a tech dude, but I know basic stuff. RAM is like pretty much the playground for developers, what they can utilize and how much assets they can put in a game. It's going to have less than my Xbox One X. I want to see. And, and again. All of the debating back and forth. Uh, uh, be one, uh, this, All of this will be answered once we start seeing games. And we will. We will start seeing games running on the Lockhart and the Xbox One X. Because they're going to be running on all platforms. Just quote me on this. Watch. Xbox Series S is going to have, the load times are going to be amazing. Um, it's going to have more modern tech technology where it'll be able to do some tricks in the games. But I think when it comes to just raw performance, I really think the Xbox One X is going to be able to either hold its own or actually have better um, gameplay performance when it just comes down to gameplay. We'll see, but it's just scratching my head. I get the Series X. Super powerful console, that's clear. But the 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 lockout, I see what um, Microsoft is trying to do too, have a cheaper price point. But we'll have to see. Maybe they know. Of course, they know some things we don't know, bro. They're a multi-billion-dollar company, so I can't wait to see uh, in July what Microsoft uh, reveals with their games and consoles. Speaking of games, Microsoft has just launched. They're optimized for Series X moniker, logo. And it's pretty much, they're saying um, games that are optimized for, that will have this badge, this badge right here. And it'll let you know it'll be optimized for the Series X. Virtually no load times, taking advantage of technology like ray tracing and, and, and things like like even with the series s i think it'll have like ray tracing features and stuff like that but we'll see we'll see we have to wait for microsoft to reveal it but faster frame rates higher resolution the games will be optimized um and they're gonna have this moniker i think this is a double-edged sword on the one note you'll know i'm gonna get the best experience from this game on the other note Microsoft has blurred the line of generations where you can have a game on your OG Xbox that came out in 2013 and run the same game that's playing on the Series X. So Microsoft has a different strategy um, going into next gen. Time will see how it plays out for them. I think they're taking a much, much safer approach than Sony. But Sony can be a little bit more bullish because so many consoles sell like crazy bro i don't know why ever since the playstation 1 they've always sold like crazy even the disaster was the playstation 3 sold over 80 million consoles all right and the last news item for this video let's show nintendo some love bro we are gonna get some nintendo games sometime in 2020 according to um nintendo's global president um nintendo's reporting that Switch hardware production has recovered from months of disruption caused by the coronavirus and first party software scheduled for 2020 currently remains on track. So Nintendo has some games in store, bro. 
I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna, I pick up the Nintendo first party games day one if it's lit and it appeals to me. So I want to see what Nintendo's gonna um, reveal this year. Heavily rumored. Mario, Mario. Heavily rumored we're gonna be getting some Mario remakes. If it's just the same exact games, like if it's, if it's just Mario 64, and it's the same exact game as the Nintendo 64, but upscaled in HD, I'm not getting it. I want a Mario 64 game with Super Mario Odyssey type graphics, bro. Give me a true remake. That would be lit. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Here comes the giveaway info. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at ob one plays And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces